So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode of the iPhone 4S iOS 9.3.2 versus the iPhone 5S iOS 9.3.2. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because every time Apple updates their operating system, you know, sometimes the iPhone 4S will lag. And I know this is an old phone, but this is for Steve, you know, for Steve Jobs, you know, this is the iPhone 4S for Steve. So we're gonna continue doing this as long as, you know, the iPhone 4S is still kicking. We're gonna still do some videos because my past videos have proven that people still use this device, whether it's their first device just to test iOS out, um, or, you know, it's just a device that they've had for a while. The 4S is still in circulation. That's why we're doing videos on that. The 5S is now one of the hottest iPhones on the budget iPhone market. Yes, I know that sounds kind of off the budget iPhone market, but you know what? It's still pretty hot. So let's check these out. We're going to start this off with a boot up test and then we're going to get into some application tests after that. So let's boot these guys up. You can see the power buttons there in three, two, one. So I hit that at the same time. You could see Apple logo is showing first on the iPhone 5S, which will boot up quicker, I believe, in this scenario. But this video is just for fun. You know, who cares if it's an odd comparison? Now let's give these guys a microfiber bath while we are waiting for these guys to get their asses boot up. So let me put the uh, iPhone 5S over there, right? While we give a little clean and a spiffy shine to the iPhone 4S over here shine it up i do got some chips on it but you know i don't really care i just kind of throw that phone around now because it's a little bit older but the 5s is running 9.3.2 and so is the iphone 4s so while the 5s is booted up let's go confirm that we are running the latest and greatest version i believe this might be the last version that we get of the iphone until ios 10 which is going to be a major release probably change inter interface icons and stuff like that. So iOS 10 is probably going to be pretty beast. But let's go down here. You can see we have iOS 9.3.2 here, 13F69, and the 4S is now booted up after, you know, a little bit of a time. But you know what? It's pretty good here over here on the iPhone 4S too. So let's go into settings. Come on, come on, don't play with me. Let's go into settings over here. Let's scroll down into general and let's go into about device here on the iPhone 4S. And you can see we're rocking with 9.3.2 13F69. So yes, this is a, what is it? Four year old smartphone now? I mean, this, this, this iPhone is, you know, a classic legend now. And at the time it was one of the best you could buy. Although puny at the time, it didn't feel so puny at the time. So now we did confirm they were both running iOS 9.3.2. And I'm gonna close everything out. And first thing we're gonna do is basically test the general user interface of these devices real quick. So let's just do that, you can see. So we're gonna pull down the notification trays on both of them. And you can see the iPhone 5S is a bit smoother but this freaking 4S is still, you know, operational. It's still functional. You could still get by using this. So you can see there's a slight jitter or stutter here when pulling this up, but man, I mean, look at that. It, it still works, you know, that's pretty sick. And the iPhone 4S was having some bugs on some older versions, and we all know the 5S. If you watch my videos, you know the 5S. You know, it's just still kicking ass right now. So we don't even need to talk about that. But you can see real quick, this is still working good. So we're gonna run these guys through a series of app tests real quick here. And you can see both applications are closed on both sides. And uh, let's do this right now. Let me zoom in the camera just a little bit. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna actually raise her up a bit too. So you wanna look straight down on these iPhones and have some fun here. So let's turn it down here. As you could see, that should be a decent view right there. You can see who wins this test. And uh, let's get this guy started with the weather in three, two, one. And you can see it's 75 degrees in Chicago first on the iPhone 5S. Let's go home. The 4S is home quicker. I don't know why that is, but it's been showing that lately. So let's go into the calendar. And you can see it's the end of May and the iPhone 5S just won that one too. Let's go back home. Let's go into clock. 5S, let's come back out. Let's go into settings, 5S. 
Let's come back out. The 4S goes home quicker every time. Let's go into the calculator. That's 5S. So it seems it's backwards. Let's go into the browser test. The 5S won that one. These are both on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's go to yahoo.com. Just because it's you know, a site a lot of people probably check out. I don't know about on this channel, but if you do check out Yahoo, go to the tech section. Let's go to go real quick and see who gets there first. The iPhone 5S, we're already reading articles while the 4S is still lagging behind. But the 4S does have some a little bit of a choppy, you know, browsing experience now while it's still loading. But once it gets loaded, you could still read it on the iPhone 4S. But uh, let's go back home here and uh, let's go into cameras. You could see iPhone 5S by a mile. This is where you're really gonna notice a huge upgrade in terms of the device on the 5S. It's going to be in the camera section. So let's go into the speed test, do a speed, uh, speed test real quick. See which one's a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna just begin test here on the iPhone 5S here. And let's find the server here, allow. Let's go into begin test here on the iPhone 4S. Come on 4S, you got it boy. Okay, there we go. So we're pulling in about 26 megs down. Now this is dependent on your Wi-Fi connection, but if the internal, you know, Wi-Fi like the AC and BGN and those things are lacking, you'll you're gonna see a, a worse, you know, download speed on one of the devices. So obviously my Wi-Fi chip in here, even with iOS 9.3.2, is still killing it on the 4S. Actually, it did better than the 5S in this round on the download and it might even beat it on the upload as well. It looks like it's gonna win in both categories. Hovering right around the same megabyte per second here on the upload. Come on, iPhone 4S, come on, come on. Come on, you can hang in there, buddy. This is for Steve, Steve Jobs. <laughs> Rest in peace, Steve Jobs. Okay, let's go into remove ads here. Let's go back. So about the same on the upload, about, you know, 10 megabytes more on the 4S for the download. So that's pretty shocking there. Let's go back and let's do a multitasking switch test so we can see how they go in. So let's go into speed test there. And you can see about the same. I think I missed that one, but who cares? Let's go to, uh, let's try to, this is where I don't like the 4S. The home button gets pretty sticky. And if you go and buy one of these used, you'll see a lot of people selling them and be like, well, I'm selling my iPhone 4S, but that home button is sticky. Like, I'm not gonna buy your 4S if that home button is sticky. Let's go to calculator. Let's go like that. Let's go into, let's see settings real quick and then we'll wrap this up. But you can see settings. So going back into the applications, looks to be a bit smoother here on the iPhone 5S, but I'm telling you, the 4S still is functional here in 2016. I wouldn't buy this phone. I mean, I'm not gonna recommend you guys, hey, I'm not saying go buy the 4S, but I'm saying that it is still functional here, meaning that you could possibly have an even better experience on here in 2016 than some budget Android phones. Now, I'm not talking those $200 budget Android phones, those will annihilate this, but I'm talking about like those $30 phones, you know, those backup phones, it's still, it's still rock those. Let's still say get the, get out of here. <laughs> and uh, so that's basically about it, you know. We're gonna just, you know, end this video right here. I just wanted to show you guys how they perform together on the latest and greatest iOS 9.3.2. Have some fun. And um, let me know which device you think is going to, you know, be the one that lasts longer into the future. Now, it might be obvious, the 5S, but do you actually, you know what, do you think that the iPhone 5S will start lagging up like the 4S in the future? Go ahead and drop those down below in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well and peace.